Hi, Carol here, and we got cut off on making the first insert for our um, paper bag mini. And it's going to be inserted here, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did that because um, obviously we were cut off, so I want to make sure I find, uh, there we go. So I'll show you that in just a second here. And the first thing I want to show you is that this second piece, remember how I showed you that uh, one piece was, um, the small piece was one and a quarter inches, seven and an eighth by one and a quarter inches going across here. But then when you flip it over and you do this wide piece up here, this measurement I told you is one and three quarters. It's not, it's one and three eighths because I went to put it on and then I noticed it was not right. So we are going to just um, do a little bit of distressing and then I'm going to show you something else that I'm going to put in my mini that I think is just fabulous. Let me just say that um, going on, uh, and looking for other people's uh, ideas that they've come up with. I think it just is just amazing. You know, you, you, you work and then um, all of a sudden just something comes to you. And when I was on Kathy's site there, Kathy Orda, there was a girl named Debbie, she said, that came up with this um, file folder to make with our uh, um, We Are Memory Keepers envelope maker. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. But first, I want to get this down, so I am going to use my ATG gun. Uh, if I can find it, I'm telling you, I have stuff everywhere. Here we go. As much as you want to keep it neat and tidy, it's hard. There we go. So, I am just going to put this down. And, like I said, are you using up a lot of cardstock or what I love it finally I am going to make up a ton of these minis all different kind of minis not not this particular one alone I am going to do a series on all these mini book um, ideas and I'm sure you can find them on YouTube as well but I like doing them and there you have it so now I have that done to slide something in here and I'll tell you, I have a lot of things that are going to go uh, with this mini. You want to line this up, make sure it is even. And, <coughs> excuse me, because okay, I have to take a drink, excuse me, of my juice. Thank you. That was good. <coughs> The last thing I want to do is lose my voice. <laughs> my family would be so disappointed. <laughs> there we are. Okay. So, there you have it. We have that finished. And I think it's beauteous. Uh, let's go on this tag for mine. So, what I did was... I measured on here how much cardstock I needed to slide this in here to get a good tag to pull out to put our picture photos on inside our sleeve. And this ended up being, I didn't even measure it to write it down, but I think it's quite, I think it's four by, well I don't think I'm measuring it here, four by six. So it ended up four by six sliding in here because of the glue and, or the staples that I have on here. So. So what I did, this I told you was just those boxes. I got a bunch of these boxes at the thrift store that they were giving away for um, Christmas time. You'll probably find boxes there close now to Christmas. And um, <clears throat> I got 50 boxes, I think, for a dollar. And I knew exactly. Let me just show you. I have them all cut up. And if I can get it out, they're right beside me here. I keep them. I got them home and I cut them all down to hugeness. 
you can see this is huge and these were all boxes and so I just keep them on the side here and when I need to do a mini or a box or and I need uh, you know not a real heavy weight piece of cardstock but heavy enough that it doesn't bend this is really nice weight actually so then I just took my pages and made them um, are they exactly let me just see yeah I made them exactly four by six so boy that was cutting it so now I am just going to take my ATG gun and um, I just noticed at Michael's let me just uh, give you a shout out for shopping I'm going to try not to do it but I think I'm going to get one they have the half inch um, ATG gun that gives you uh, I think it's half inch I don't think it's an inch I mean, I think this is a quarter inch. Uh, I don't see it written here, but they have a thick one. I, I'm going to pick that up. I think I'm going to go tomorrow and get one. I just saw it um, a few months ago. And I said to myself a few months ago, I should get that. Well, I think I am because I like the idea of being able to um, put down. Oh, I did make this a little tad bigger. Sorry so that I could just go on like that and cut her down. Whoop. The big scissors are nice because you can see what you're doing there. And, <coughs> excuse me. So I went with this side and, and then on the tab, when I cut out the tabs, I cut out uh, two. I cut out this side. I cut another one out and another one in the lines because I want to do it like this so it's opposite okay when I do it and remember I said I got this tab punch on eBay I mean I only had to pay like four thousand nine hundred sixty two dollars for it because it's retired <laughs> not really not that much close but no I'm just kidding it was it was more than I would have paid but I really wanted this tab punch and I got the stamp set that goes with it. So you want to punch two of them out and then cut them in half and then put one half on each side if you want to do it different on either side of your project. If that makes any sense. And I'm going to get this mini all prepared um, when I get finished here. And then, yikes. And then um, I'll come back and we will put it together because I'll show you the binding. And um, I really should have done the cardstock. All right. So is there rhyme or reason to that? No. So let's put this on like that. All right. Now you're going to have a side to write on, um, you know, with your photo. A tag. Oh, if I got this t accordion tag thing that we're going to put in here, it's fantastic. Can't wait to show you. There's a lot of elements I can't wait to show you that we're going to put in here. You just get your six bags out. You get your um, papers and uh, that you you want for your mini. And join me back on the next. Um, video. I think I'm going to just because I cut those down like that, I'm going to give this a really, not much, but I want to straighten those edges out. So I'm going to go over it with my distress tool here. Jim Holtz has a nice one. I have it somewhere here. Um, and then I have that Stampin' Up! one because remember me? I mean, what happens if you lose one, right? So then you're going to put your tab on like this and I'm going to put my tab on with hot glue you can put it on with your um, ATG whatever you want but I'm going to guess at this uh, do I want it out a little bit no. Just a tad because um, it's too late now. Is it too late? 
Yes. Okay. I should have measured that too. Let me see. Let me see the damage I did here when I put this in here. Oh my. Okay. I want to move that. And this is what happens. So bear with me. Okay. Let's take that off. <gasps> That's no problem. <laughs> Don't get excited. It's okay. All right. So this is going to be this that I said I was going to put on there. It's just going to have to be different because I was going to put it on here so that this lined up. Remember? So that that piece lined up perfectly. Change of plans. It's going to go like this. So I'm sorry, like this to hide that boo-boo. So let's put this down. I want this side to have a pocket. So I am just going to do this here. And run that down. Excuse my arm. I'm going to reach for this. There we go. Okay. And then let's do this side. Like this. All right, so now I have another slot to put down there. Insert. And let me get all my glue out of the way. And then this is going to just get glued down. So I can open this up, give it some glue, and then we're gonna go on to making this uh, file folder with our, um, whoa, that one's hot. I got these at the jewel box when I ordered, um, you got a whole lot of stuff for your glue mat, which I think is 16 by 14 or 18 by 14. Great big um, one of those, you know, mats so that you can make flowers and nothing sticks to it. And it came with all kinds of things like finger things, this here, that other spatula. It was great. Okay, so that worked out well. See, would you ever know? No, it's probably better. So we're going to slide this down like this in here already so that I can put my tab on. Let's start again. See if I can pick that off. Um, this is going to just be up a bit. Grab it like this. Then I am going to slide it and I want it to stick out. So move it over for it dries completely. Take it where you want it and then pinch it. There we are. So now that's done. I'm so glad I ordered that. Even though I had to pay a little bit more uh, because it was retired, that uh, tab punch, I love it. So there you go. You have the tab goes inside there like this. You have another space right here. And it's great. Oh, glad I turned it over. And um, squirt some glue in there. Put it down. Let it ooze out. I'm sorry if I'm off the frame, but I had to quickly bring this down just so it dries flat. There we are. Then take the glue off. There. That's fabulous. I love it. There you go. So we have that, that, another tag piece here. Get the small one so I can remember to put something in there like that. Then we just slide that in here and that's done. So much for the one page. Matches. Isn't that sweet? We're going to do six of these. So um, let me go on with this quickly to show you this 
Um, file folder that we're going to do. Okay, so let's get up our We Are Memory Keepers envelope maker. Now, as I only watched this two seconds ago, and I hope I do it right here. So, um, first we're going to score this in half. This is your eight and, eight and a half by 11 inch uh, um, card stock. So it would be five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Okay, I'm sure I'm scoring it. Nope, sorry, five and a half, obviously 11 inches. Yes. Okay, so you're gonna wanna score that. I'm using my Stampin' Up. It has the score blade and the cutting blade. So you wanna take that out and then I am going to go another quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to move it over. Um, a qu let me see. Quarter of an inch. And I'm going to make another score mark because it's going to be a file folder. And then I'm going to bring it back a quarter of an inch because if you look at your file folders, they are not flat. They have these little grooves. So you have this one and uh, you have this one, right? Because you're putting papers in there. And um, so let's get all of these done properly with my bone folder. Lift it up. There we are. So there's your folder right there. Isn't that sweet? You've got your three lines right in there. This is awesome. Okay, let's see if I can get this right. Take your envelope maker. Now, I want to make this a center tab. I'm going to show you the right and the left tab, but for the center tab, you are going to, let me see, on there it was two and three, uh, two and three quarters. Let's go with the two and three quarters right there, and then you are going to punch it out. You're just going to flip it over. I hope I have that in frame. Flip it over two and three quarters again and you're going to punch it. Look at that. Take it like this. Flip it to the back two and three quarters. Punch it. Flip it over and two and three quarters like this. And there you have both of them like this. But what you're going to have to do now is get rid of this, uh, fold my mat back so that I can use my um, cutting mat. So you're going to lay this out like this, okay? And you are going to get your ruler and you are going to take off the inside tab here. So you're going to place that down and you're going to set this ruler straight. You're going to take your um, cutting tool right here, okay, and we are going to proceed to cut that tab off and there we are. And I left a little piece there. I did it with the craft paper because it's going to match everything. When you flip this over, you aren't, you're going to leave this, but you're going to take off the other um, side. So I'm going to straighten this up on my mat so I know it's even with the line here. Then I'm going to take my Tim Holtz ruler and I am just going to line it up straight and straight down there. There we are. So I'm going to take off here and then move it back. Don't let it move on you. Then come down and take off this. Oh, yikes, I moved. That's okay because I'm just showing you. 
I'm going to put paper over this so I'm not panicking. Because I did that, I will just put paper over it. So there you have it. So you have your tab. Wait a minute. Let me just see. Yes. Okay, that's right. So you have your tab here. And then... Um, okay, so I'm going to add paper to this. Let me just do this. So this is where you're going to have... Let me make our corners on this first. I'm looking at it. It's kind of like... Kind of looks bare, but it's because it's a file folder. Hello, and it comes up like that because we made the three lines, right? So it really goes like this. Now, take back this, and I saw that you can do two things. You can line up your corners with the corner in here. So if you line this up like this, and it's right in the corner, and you press it, you get this awesome cut right there. So take it and line it up in the center, push it up to the top of your cutter and you get that. Do the same thing, just set it right in between this V. You have a V here. Set it right in between the V, push it way up and do the same thing here. Now you can use your corner, your chomper, your corner chomper. I want to make sure that that is right in the center when I pull it up there. Um, you can do that, but yikes, wait a second, that was supposed to be like this. Um, boo boo. Just a minute, let's see if I can straighten this up. I don't think I can, but because I'm showing you, oh, there, not bad. So there we have it. Okay, so this is our center piece using our We Are Memory Keepers. Let me show you what you do if you want to have it on the side. So you're going to do the same thing, and the measurements are just going to change. So you're going to fold your cardstock, score it. For time's sake, I'm just going to go like this and fold it. Take my bone folder, because you want this right on. So that's pretty good. Okay, so then you're going to open it up, we're going to make a side one. The only thing that changes on the side when you flip it is it goes to three inches instead of two and three quarters. So, let's go to three inches. I better make sure that's right. Um, I didn't write it down, but I think it's three inches, so I'm just gonna go with that. And then flip it over and bring this up to three inches. Okay, and then it's supposed to be a right or left, so I'm trying to figure this out here. This looks more like the middle. Let me just see here. This is three inches. This is three inches. I don't have it down now. Um, okay. Um, yeah, that's the center one at three inches. I want to just see this. This one. So all it does really is it extends it over. But um, let me just see here. Uh, I'm going to try something here. So cut at three quarters of an inch. I just want to see something right here. So I'm going to get back to you on this because I don't want to make a mistake. But anyway, I have this this far. Let's just keep it like that because honestly, I'm not sure on this one. Um, unless I was to do it this way. Let's try it just this way and see. No, it couldn't be that way because it folds like this. Um, well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this like this because I want this one. So I'm going, this one I'm going to use my corner chomper. Um, I know it's somewhere. I always keep it right there. 
put it. Oh, here it is. Oh, let me reach over. Sorry. So I'm going to just use the corner chopper on here. And then I will figure that out. Oops, the other side. There we go. I will figure this one out and get back to you when we move on. Uh, but this is pretty neat just to have it this way. But you can make a side tab and a um, left and right. You just When you do it, you just fold it and it goes the up, left or right on the tab. But let's just do this for now. Um, I'm just going to have to make this a center one again. Put it perfectly straight on your cutting mat, like as much as you can. Add the ruler, and I'm going to take off the two ends right here. I love the Tim Holtz ruler because you can see perfectly whether you have that on there right. Take your cutter, your um, X-Acto knife, and... They have this new ruler out. I'm going to have to get it. And it just suctions down and it allows you, your ruler not to move and your X-Acto knife to not to slip up on you. And um, I've never had an accident like that, but I wouldn't want it to happen. So this ends up to be a half, a middle one. Move up there, come on. There we are. So we took off the two sides, now I'm just going to take off the middle, line it up on my grid, so maybe you can see it. That would be good, right? And then take your ruler and put it down, line it up straight, and cut the center out, bend it back. Yeah, I think this is great. Uh, there's some different uh, tags to make as well that I really like. So now you have this like this, and I'm going to make those um, I, think, I think I'll just do the same thing. I'm just going to cut into it with the choppers. This is the half inch like that. And isn't this sweet? I think it's such a, I mean, the way people come up with this stuff, it's crazy nice. So let's add some uh, quarter inch lines here. So instead of being on five and a half, you're going to move it over a quarter of an inch. And you're going to put down another score mark. Then you're going to move it over from the five and a half and run it um, right there. There goes my phone. And... There you have it like that. And there's your two lines. This is just great. So let's get our scoring or our bone folder and run this across. And then I'm going to put paper on this. I'm going to show you the left and right on how to do that so that I'm going to decorate it, and there you have another one of your file folders. I think I am, I, I actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do to distress this. This is really good. And then I'm going to come up with measurements to make small ones. Uh, I'm just going to practice here and do that. And, um, okay, so what I wanted to do here is to show you, once we have